Here's a map of the United States. To color in this map so that no state shares the color of an adjacent state, we'd need a lot of different colors, right? Well, how many colors would we need? The answer is only four. That's right, using only four colors, we can color in each state so that it is clearly distinct from the next state. This may not seem that surprising, but what if I were to tell you that a map of Europe could also be colored using only four colors? Or that any map could be colored with just four colors? Well, it's true. And not just with maps of countries. Any two-dimensional arrangement of shapes can be completely filled in with only four colors so that no two touching shapes share the same color. This principle is called the Four Color Theorem and was first discovered by Francis Guthrie in 1852. But Guthrie didn't actually prove the theorem. In fact, it wasn't unproven until 1976 when it was the first major theorem to be proven using a computer. The modern proofs further generalized the theorem to calculate the minimum number of colors needed for not just finite planes such as maps, but for other two-dimensional surfaces such as infinite planes, rods, spheres, and tori, according to two special equations shown here. So the next time someone asks you to color a map and hands you a box of crayons, you can just pick out your four favorite colors and get to work. Thanks for watching.